Clark, Cheese Master and Certified Cheese Professional at 549 in Marysville. And today I'm going to show you how to take a platter from just throwing some cheese and crackers on a plate to creating something special that your friends and family are going to love. This cheese board is going to be made using Murray's products. If you have a Murray's Cheese Shop at your local Kroger store, you can stop by to pick up some great products that will make your cheese board a cut above. For the cheese board we're making today, I'm going to use a nice black slate, but you can use a cutting board, you can even use a cookie sheet, or even any decorative plate that you have at home. Today we're gonna to be using the candied walnuts, provides a nice crunch and some sweetness. A nice complement to a sweet pairing is a salty pairing, so I'm going to be using our Castle Vetrano olives, and of course no cheese board is complete without some dried fruit, so I'm gonna be using our dried apricots. Our 34 degree crackers are perfect for a cheese board. They're nice and thin and crispy. When choosing cheeses, choose a selection with different flavors and textures. I chose Cotswold, which is a nice flavored cheese, Merlot Bellavitano, which is a little firmer, and our Point Reyes original blue cheese, which is gonna be nice and strong and earthy. And lastly, we'll finish it off with the Delice, which is creamy and buttery. Finally, you always want to include some sort of fresh produce, so I've chosen grape tomatoes. And a great salami for your cheese board is Soprasada. Since you are building a cheese board, you want to place your cheese first, since it is the featured item. So I'm going to put my Merlot Bellavitano in the back, and my softer cheese up in the front. I'm going to go ahead and put my Cotswolds over to the side. You wanna make sure you have some nice color breaks, so don't put the white cheese right next to the other white cheese. And here I'll have my blue right over here. Next, you wanna place your larger items. If you have any jars of preserves or of olives, or if you have any little bowls like these, go ahead and put those on next. So since these are nice and vibrant green, I'm gonna put them next to my purple cheese. Then something a little extra and special that I always like to include is the fig spread because it always goes with any cheese and any pairing you have on your board. So because this is a really strong, earthy cheese, I'm gonna put something nice and sweet next to it. Next, you want to arrange some of your smaller items. So I'm going to take my apricots and bring some color to my white cheese. And they don't all have to be in one spot. You can spread these around the board. Next, I'm gonna stick with some of the sweeter pairings. So I'm gonna place my caramelized walnuts down as well. And again, this is a nice texture contrast. These are nice and crunchy. And your Delice is gonna be nice and buttery and creamy. Now I'm gonna go for some of my savory options, my grape tomatoes and my Soprasada salami. When I put salami on a cheese board, I almost like to create a little wall, just kind of add some dimension to the board instead of lying it down flat. You can kind of fold it and stand it up like this. I'm gonna put some over here. Maybe put some salami over here as well. And then your tomatoes, you can just kind of scatter around your board. Now when you bring your cheese board out, it might look almost too good for your guests, which means you'll have to be the first one in line to show them how it's done. And that's really a shame. Mm. 